adventurers do a lot of cold water fishing and we use a lot of hair jigs and we usually tie our own. Um, it's just easier, simpler, and you can kind of match the forage better. Hair jigs are tied from a number of different hair, um, primarily deer, bear, fox, rabbit. Today we're going to focus on the rabbit with and without zonkers. Um, the zonker is just a little tail that's on here. And what this bait does when it sits at the bottom, you barely move it, and the, the water just moves the tail a little bit as it sits up like this and the tail will, will fluctuate. just want to show you a little bit about the different hairs and how we tie these. Different types of rabbit. I'm using black here because I think it will show up best. Um, this is a cross cut. So this is what the body is made out of. And you can see how the hair is cross cut and lays this way. This is the zonker tail. Um, it's, it's cut normally, straight cut. And you'll notice that it has a nice pinched end here, edge here at the end. And what you do to get that is you can use the scissors, but it's much better to use the razor blade. And we're just going to saw through gently. And then you always get that point. You see the point? So this will be our front end, this will be the back end. And you always get that really nice point. The size, you can cut them any length you want. And our body wrap, which is cross cut. And you can put the zonker strip on any way you want. I'm just going to tie it. Some guys glue it. Some guys run the hook through it. It, it doesn't really matter. Whatever way you feel comfortable about how to secure it, it works just fine. So once that's on, you're ready to start the body, and the body is very simple. We're just going to point the hair to the back of the jig, and we're going to just wrap it right on top of that zonker. And it's very simple from here. All we're going to do is bring our line out to the end. one level on top of each other and you can wrap it on the head once or twice don't go crazy when you get to that point what I usually do is cut it with a scissor again no wrong way of doing this and then we're going to just simply wrap our thread around it so you want to make it nice and tight and you're going to wrap it and then your jig is pretty much done. You can keep a little cup of water alongside it, it'll, it'll lay this back, but that's pretty much your jig right there. It's gonna look just like this one. We're gonna finish it off with, either you can glue it or tie it, you know, whatever, whatever kind of wrap you wanna do, but that's pretty much your jig.